Welcome back, you beautiful people. Most of you might know that I'm a humongous fan of the trusty hardtail. It's the perfect foundation to learn all of those mountain biking skills so you can get out there on the trail. Now, myself and my Nuke Proof Scout have been through a hell of a lot. We've been downhill racing, enduro racing, done an EWS, been bikepacking on it. I've even done the famous Mega Avalanche, which is a crazy race in itself. And it comes with a humongous fan base, the hardtail, but it's not for everyone. Our rider of the day is none other than legendary EMBN presenter, Stephen Jones, everyone. He's been involved in mountain biking since the very origins and actually started his riding back in the days of the fully rigid bikes. However, these days you'll find them exclusively on comfortable electric mountain bikes with large amounts of rear travel and even a motor to help him out. Today, we'll take him back to basics and see if we can change his mind to come back to the side of the humble hardtail. Like I said, it's not for everyone. Now I've got my work cut out for myself today because I'm going to try and convince some special human, aka Steve Jones from EMPN, that the hardtail is a really good bike to ride. Don't you think, Steve? Right, can I get uh -oh. something straight? Yeah. Right, let's cut the crap, okay? Okay. This is totally off script. Three things, right? I don't hate hardtails. Okay. Second thing is you miss something. That bike, you forgot you went on your paper round into the shops on it, <laughs> okay? And the third point is that all those things you did, truly immense, but I think that proves is your skill rather than the ability of the bike. Ooh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, do you want to go for a ride? No. No? Why not? Actually, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Your bike's here, Steve. Hardtail. Yes, I know. All in hand. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on, Blake. You got to ride the bike, Steve. Not use an e-bike to carry the... This is gonna be tough. I got my work cut out today. If I call it work, if I can convince him. Oh my God. Hang on, Steve. The bike we'll be using today is one of my favorites ever. This is the Nuke Proof Scout. It is bomb proof in every scenario. It's capable, it's simple, and it, it can pretty much do anything you can. But let's take a look at Steve's bike, because it's pretty cool. So this is the bike that Steve Jones will be riding today. Thanks to Dolly for lending it to him for a couple of hours. This is the Nuke Proof Scout. It's an extra large size frame. Looks rather big in front of me. We've got a massive dropper. And to keep it in, you know, in tow with what Steve is all about, e-bikes, this is the Ergon saddle. Uh, it's an EMTB uh, climbing saddle. It's got a nice swish to it. This is the SME Mountain. Um, 29 inch wheels and he's running a weird combination. So he's running the Vittoria Mazza Enduro on the front and on the rear he's running the Vittoria Mazza Trail. Carbon fiber FSA gradient wheels, Shimano Dior XT drivetrain, one by 12. And on the front, he's got 160 mil of travel thanks to the RockShock Lyric in a beautiful green. I actually like the green on these. He's got the nice green Ergon GE1 grips to match the forks as well. Carbon bars from Nuke Proof. Nice chrome stem. There you go. Pretty neat piece of kit. Climbing, Steve. Do you know what? I think, uh, you know, I might jest, but I think it is good to get some torque through your legs if, you're, if you do ride an e-bike all the yeah. time. So I think on like a smooth track like this, it's just a diamond, isn't it? Oh man, it's efficiency. It's great. You get the power down. That's what I've noticed riding e-bikes. You lose your bottom end. You oh. do, you do actually. So it's really crucial to do that. But thanks, thanks for inviting me out, Blake. Oh, you're welcome. Look at that. <laughs> we haven't done much, but what is it like without a motor? Well, look, as I said to you, I think it's good to, to get out on a non e-bike to get some of the leg power. But I think I've got to point one thing out, Blake, actually, is that a hardtail mountain bike is quite a different tool to a hardtail e-bike. Yeah. That's okay. for sure, yeah. Really? And I want to talk about that in a minute when it comes to the tools for the job, if you don't mind. Yeah, what, up the top? Yep. Kind of made it to the top, Not Steve. even puffing, uh, Blake. Hey, listen, um, <laughs> one thing I wanted to point out, wanted to say, um, hardtail EMTBs are quite different to hardtail mountain bikes. Um, I agree. 
And part of the reason for that is with hardtail MTBs, you've got cross country bikes, dirt jump bikes, trials bikes, progressive hardtails. Just like these two. Uh, gravel bikes, all, you know, you've got lots of different tools for the job, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, I think if you want to learn dirt jumping or trials, go and get one of those bikes because they're fantastic. I mean, you've spent lots of time on those bikes, right? Yeah, I have, yeah. You know, I spent years just hopping around, hopping around yeah. on a trials yeah, bike, yeah. but that's a, diff that's a very specific tool which you simply don't have an e-mountain bike in. No, no. What they can do though, is it e trials? Is go uphill. <laughs> that is very true. And we, <laughs> that's why you said uh, down there you needed a motor. <sighs> I'm sweating. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's get into some flow, some rollers, yeah. some you know, some agility, agile stuff where these bikes come alive. A again, agility, Blake. Agility. Uh. -uh. <laughs> Monster truck, we'll come to that. Hold on, Black Sevilla. You'll be fine, follow me. Follow you. Go on. Well, the last thing I said. <laughs> what do you think of that, Steve? I'm gonna give my breath back. I think, uh, <laughs> I think one thing's for sure, I think hardtails on a smooth track, they do- He's out of breath. They do teach you good pump technique, don't mm, they? Yeah. You've got that good engagement with the, with the downslope and the backside of a, of, a, of a bank. Would you call those banks? Landings. <laughs> Landings. So yeah, I think in that respect, timing, timing skills, yeah. tick. <laughs> Blake, I'm sweating and dizzy already, dude. Are you? Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> Good for you. Yeah. Do you know like, it's like the good old days, you know, the, the fat belts? Oh, back in the 19th century. You got that belt <laughs> that went around you and you stood there. <laughs> That's what these do. That's pretty much it, yeah. You lose a lot of weight riding. Oh, on that subject, can we actually move on to some proper trails? Oh, yes, please. We've got to go up though. Cool. I tell you what, they are good for hiker bike. I bet you can't do that with an e-bike. <laughs> well, they are good for hiker bike. This is where the hardtail comes alive, man. <laughs> this is where it comes alive, through this behind us. You come alive, that's for sure. Look, this, this is my point, right? You say hardtails teach you great bike skills. Yeah. I think they just teach you different skills, but more than that, they teach you how to go slower. They teach you how to go slower and they teach you bad technique because the only way to learn to ride a full suspension bike down through here in the dry and in the wet, guess what? is on a full suspension bike. You're talking air pressure front and back, you're talking the balance point in the bike. You can't learn that on a hardtail. You just learn about hanging on for grim death and maybe choosing the smooth line. You'll choose a different line on a full suspension bike. Okay, I got that, it's a good point, good point. Is it, is it fair? It's very fair, yeah, I agree with it, but I also, I also I disagree. Okay. Because if you were to ride a hardtail through here, at this point, of right in your riding career, you're pretty handy because you need to, you want to go fast through here, so your skills are a little bit higher. But when you ride through here on a hardtail, then you get yourself onto a full sus if you can afford one, or if you have one, you'd ride this, I would say, quicker than if you were to ride it straight up on a full sus. Okay, I think there's another point there. Maybe it'd be a break in the, in the, in the edit. I think you brought up a point there earlier about this section is about afford it. I think hardtails, are more about money than they are about experience. You get a hardtail because you can't afford a full suspension bike. Or maybe you get a hardtail because you're loaded and you want a couple of bikes in the garage. I think that's also very true. Craig, you're a greener on quite a few things. We here. are. So we're saying the hardtail's not that bad after all, is it, Steve? It never has been. No, it's true. It never has been. But I also say, okay, one last pointer. <laughs> if as, you're as, a... as I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> one last pointer. If you're a kid, obviously your, your parents can afford a full I ain't sus. a kid, dude. No, 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 no. So why have you when brought you, me? When you're a kid, <laughs> if you're a kid. I'd love to be a kid. Oh, no, <laughs> too much pressure. You've got to go through all that life stuff again. <sighs> you, I say if you're a kid and you got yourself a full sus, you built, you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth. That's why, that's my point. I, I think there's, a, I think there's, you can buy hardtails, you can, you can buy a BMX bike, 100 quid, get one at the skip. 100 quid, hardtail, four, 500 quid, get out riding, 
balance, timing, all those things we talked about. Like down the pump track, mm -hmm. you can just go out in a car park in the night time and go up and down curbs. Mm. Fantastic. Base skills, great. You That's can do it anywhere, anytime. Exactly. But not bloody here. No, but you learn there and you come here. <laughs> talk about that. We're not gonna, you're not going to talk yourself out of riding this. I go am. On. Watch not. this. No. I ain't going down. You're coming down it. Dude, I am 57. I've been beaten to sh for 54 years on a bike. I am not riding a hardtail down through there. Please, it's do only me a favour. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I ain't day. doing it. I ain't doing it. Go on. I ain't doing it. Even if you just roll in from there. Dude, fair. If you can go down through there on a hardtail bike, fair dues. That is like a very difficult track. No, it's not. Josh? It's not. Difficult track, right? This is not hard. <laughs> it is. Come on. Get on that steed of I'm yours. Not, I want to watch you go down through there. Just watch the Beatles. Watch my line choice and then follow, yeah? I ain't doing it. Dude, you used to race World Cups. Oh, come on. Let's Where's just, the hard tail? Please, please, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll push your bike up here. You can pick the, the, the best thing about the hard tail riding, right? Is, is picking the smooth line. So find the smooth line, I'll bring yours as well. You no, take that one, no. I'll take this one. You're not doing it. Oh, come on, Steve. I'll take your bike up there. I'm not, I'm not riding down through there. No, can I take your bike up there? It's, it's, it's not meant for hardtails. Yeah, it is. It's not. Where was mountain biking born? Hardtail life, wasn't it? Beach cruisers and that. No, it's actually rigid. There I you go. Wrote, I rode it rigid for 26 years, rigid. Oh, so this is a breeze. You've got full suspension. You're, well, this is like a full <laughs> suspension. On that subject, why has Doddy got carbon fiber wheels on a hardtail. That's, to me, that's like... That's making if you get a hardtail, <laughs> keep it simple. Sorry, Doddy. We'll come to being simplest, simple in a minute. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Look, I'll be your Sherpa. Ah! What was that? In, in your words, Blake, you said hardtails teach you to ride slow. Ride it slow then. Look at the state of it. How can you do anything but not the, the ride slow through that? Plow. But look at you, look at your like 90 kilos of South African we'll talk. powerhouse. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Sorry, Zimbabwe powerhouse. <laughs> you can get through here. At least it's not wet. Exactly, hate. exactly. In the winter, dirty, shitty, wet, off comp, camber, rooty slop. On a hard tail in winter, game just, over. Say, Just be careful. Go. Why are you going fast? <laughs> are you fucking serious? <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. No, that is totally it. I'm not doing that again. It's like ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, Steve, I'm coming. All that proves <laughs> is you got better skills than me. No, there's a, there's a little trade secret. Trade, I like that. I'm in the trade. Anyway, it's being clipped in on the hard tail. You ride a lot smoother. See? That's a great point. You ride a lot smoother, lighter, because you're not fighting to keep the body weight down on your pedals in the rough. However, I've tried riding clipped in for That's 26 good. years. <laughs> you, you prefer wellies. I'm still sweating. <laughs> I like to, I'm actually enjoying this sweat fest. I like you to, do you... I'm getting, I find it weirdly nice. Oh. You should come ride hardtails with me a bit more. What's that back, it's wet. <laughs> and do you know what? Do you know what I don't miss? is this. Pushing up. Pushing bikes up hills. Don't, well, you, do you, ride, know what? you ride up the trail. Do you know what? That, but then again, <laughs> that's why Charlie Hatton is the current world downhill champion. Because when he was a kid, he pushed his bike up and down here all day long. Nothing wrong with that. So I, I take it back, I take it back. So what I think about all that is, I think it says it all on this frame, in our house we are all equal. 
very true, Steve. That's the bottom line, right? It is the bottom line. We're all out there riding a bike and having fun, no matter if it's a full size, a rigid, a hardtail. Oh, ooh. Ooh, crikey. A rigid, a hardtail. Ooh. And pushing your limits as well. Yeah, Blake, it's all about timing. It is. As ably demonstrated by our friend in the background. <laughs> anyway. Hope he lived. He's fine, he's all good. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you ride a hardtail, give us a thumbs up, like, let us know in the comments down below. And we'll see you next time. See ya, cup of tea. Definitely. Nice, Steve, convinced you? I've always been convinced. Oh, I've okay. always been convinced. There's a time like and a place. I get, listen, I just get, I just get rattled to shit these days. You do, yeah. I get rattled to shit. Trails like this, dreamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreamy. Can you get that corner a bit better? Watch this. <laughs>